flourishing is definitely on the rise. I grew up in Roxbury. That's uh, it's, uh, Orchard Park to be specific. Boston, uh, it made me step it up. You know, it's a lot of good, it's a lot of good talent that's undiscovered. So uh, it made it's it's higher it's higher standards for what's good and what's great. You know, so it definitely made me step it up. I just kind of stay focused, but um, from 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 input, we, we're doing well. You know, we're making some. You know what I mean? And the kids running up on us, I can tell we're doing something good. So uh, I just hope I leave behind something, something worth remembering. I mean, this jacket is like, so it's older to me. This is gifted. You know, I was, I just ran into some checks. Uh, I was a hand-me-down baby, you know? So this jacket about as old as me. So I got I got a thing for not looking like something you can go get at the store. So I don't, I don't know. And then I started finding stuff to match with it. It really ain't nothing. You know, and we just stay childish with it, stay playful, yeah. have fun. You know? Again, I'm in my own world. I try to make sure I stay out of the uh, the main, the current. You know what I mean? Yeah. The current. What's what's happening? You know what? I I kind of always work with what I had. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not like I've always been super rich, but yeah. you know what I mean. We throw some high end. It's all about make it make it your own. So I, I might you might see me with one piece of it. You know what I mean? clothing that somebody got but I'm, I'm aware of, like nobody does so I kind of I kind of mix the high end with whatever you know some people tell me don't wear those things together but use use your use your life as you will <laughs> but yeah I mean because everywhere across the map we go through some of the struggles you know what I mean how you how you come across is how you come across my family from from South Carolina tell me I talk too proper so I know exactly where they're coming from but um Everyone, I know some some people have identity issues, but I can't speak for everybody. I know for myself, you could you can never you can never miss me. You can't you can you can tell when I'm on the track, but you know I, I can't disagree with that. You know, and I was only speaking my perspective. You know yeah. what I mean? The older has been doing it for a while. You know what I mean? I got my um, my fashion sense from looking up to the uncles and people that was really having it and stuff. So. A lot of people was always wearing it, but it was overt. It was like, I'm going to tuck my shirt in so you know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, that's just life. I'm still ugly, real ugly, but she'll still fuck me. You can have a million monies, boy, you still bum me. I had to copyright the slang where they steal from me. Another night, till the day, but it's still funny. That's why, that's the inspiration. We still ugly. And nothing else changed but the game be gone. Not even the address yet. He's still in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even in the What he doing? He rolling up on a pizza box. Hey, man, it changed, bro. That's the inspiration. I look like I'm a sponge sometimes, you know what I mean? I just see what's around me. So it's still ugly sometimes. I go, I take those trips. I ain't move out the hood. I have to take those trips to La La Land and I come back. I go overseas and I come back. It's, it's still ugly.